62 million children. Do you know how many that is? If you take in population, don't miss this. If you take in population states 25 through 50 in our country, over half of our states, and take out the entire population, and Kentucky's one of those, that's about 62 million. That's a lot of dead children. It's a lot of blood on our nation's hands. You think God's going to wink at that? He's not. And you're going to vote for a guy who believes in that junk? I told you, I'm, I'm not promoting either of these guys. I, I just read to you how both of these candidates have serious issues, how both of these candidates have taken stands against the Word of God. But how in the world could you vote for somebody who believes in abortion, who believes in ripping a child from a mother's womb? How can you do that? You're supporting it. Say whatever you want to say about the economy, about whatever you want to say, but you're supporting that garbage. Elections have consequences. The governor before shut down Planned Parenthood in Louisville. Our governor now, our wicked governor now, started it up again. By the way, you want to talk about minorities? You don't love minorities if you're for abortion. You know where the majority of those Planned Parenthoods are? They're in minority communities. And you know who started that? A racist who wanted to eliminate certain races. Don't, don't buy this lie in the liberal news media. You're not for minorities if you're for abortion because they are by far are affected more than any other group. Every Don't, don't miss this. R try to wrap your mind around this. This is hard to just really totally understand, but think through this. Every year in America, every year in America, more babies are murdered than all of our wars since 1775 till now. Soldiers who've died for our freedom. Every year in America, more babies die than have died in the entire history of our country in wars. Go look it up. Every year. Every year. If mankind counted it the way God does, there are more people who die in abortion than die of cancer in our country every year. More people die in abortion than heart problems every year. You think God's okay with that? 